Hey guys, this is going to be me recounting the story of me winning the 800 meter Centennial Conference Championship this 2022 indoor season. Um, it's got some nice stories. This can be a good way to remember it and I can maybe send this to my parents or something. Uh, and I just think this will be a fun video, so tag along. And then here I've got my uh, the medals with the win for the 800 meter. And then I also had second place in the 4x4, which was really sick. Um, so yeah, let's get into the video. Alrighty, so here's the start of the 800 meter. And it actually gets called back. So what happened here was, I didn't realize at the time, but I had gotten spiked right here in my, my spike. And there's actually still some blood on the spike. I've got a new pair coming on the way. Um, but I didn't realize at the time, but, it, but my pinky toe was bleeding and there's a hole in my spike. But I kept on, you know, I just go jog back, ready to restart the race because someone had tripped on my shoe and fallen over. So they restarted the race. Alrighty, so there you see me in second to the inside. There. You can't see it right now, but I actually get behind a couple people, which is not what I'm looking for, because I'm faster than everyone in this heat. But luckily, you can see it right here, and I'm sorry for pausing. They kind of just move to the outside and allow me to pass them on the inside, which is really generous of them. And it uh, ended up helping me out. I think that was just poor racing strategy from them, but I'll take it. And I'm looking pretty clean here. You know, first lap, not supposed to be anything difficult. Um, and just to give you some context, I'm seated like four seconds faster than everyone in this heat with a 159. There you go, I come in about 27 seconds for that uh, 200 meter, which is faster than I'm used to. But, you know, I'm taking it. I'm going quick with this race. I've got something to prove. This guy in second trying to hold on to me. He had like a 203 PR. He, you'll see he, uh, he doesn't quite end up holding on to me. Now coming up on the 400 meters. I look at the clock, <laughs> lick my lips a little bit, and I come in at about 55 for the 400 meters, which is really good pace for me. That's quicker than I've ever been at the 400 meters. I know if I can hold on to this, it's going to be great. So I'm going to be digging really deep this third lap. If I run this third lap, it's going to be a great race. Uh, I mean, if I run it well. You see this guy starts falling off of me. He can't, he can't hang. So I'm coming through, and that third lap was about a 30. I come in at... Would that be 125? And I know if I run a good last lap, this is going to be an insane race for me because my PR is 159. So here's the belt lap. I'm kicking. I'm going to give everything I've got. And notice how the, you see that guy in third? He's kind of out of the picture. He's actually going to make an amazing kick. You'll see him by the end of this video. So I'm digging deep. I'm struggling here. I kind of pace it quite perfectly where like, just by the end I run out of energy. Um, so yeah, I'm struggling, but I'm keeping good form and keeping a good stride. I'm Winston. You can see my face right now. When I come in, 157, I do a little celebration. It's my best time I have at the time, at least. This guy's celebrating. He came in second. And that guy actually ends up coming in second overall. And here's the part where I didn't tell you. you. See these guys leaning over here looking at the times? When they saw me cross, <laughs> they were actually a little bit concerned. Uh, let's go back and watch that. Alrighty, so here's me finishing, and then look at these guys, they're looking at the clock. This is the fast heat, and in their mind, they're knowing now that if they want to get the title, they have to beat a 157, which is not an easy feat. Um, some of them, some of these guys have the capability. This guy right here, I think he ran like a 153 or 152, but he's coming off of running a uh, like a 411 mile or something. So he's tired, and he actually ends up dropping out of the race around the third lap. He wasn't in good position to beat me, and he was having some issues with his calves. I talked to one of my uh, friends who uh, was a teammate with me in high school and is now a teammate with him in Haverford. Uh, so yeah, there you see me. I'm pretty tired, but I'm happy right now. And then you can see my teammates over here coming over to celebrate with me because they know I just ran an excellent race. You can see them all kind of falling over here, which is really nice of them. And then we're going to sort of skip past the fast heat. Alrighty, so here's the fast heat finish. You see this guy with this kind of wonky form. Uh, and you celebrate, I mean, sorry, they finish. And you see this guy, he's not happy, but this guy ends up, this guy's really happy. He's trying to celebrate his teammate. But this guy, I think he realizes that he didn't beat my time. And he actually comes third overall. This guy doesn't place. Um, so it's a little premature celebration. And this guy, kind of disappointed, he comes right over to me. And then just uh, shout out to Charlie, who's was my high school captain. He's a really cool guy. Um, but moving on. He comes over, and you can hear us celebrating. You hear us going, yeah, because we saw the official results that I had beat them. And we were super hyped about that. You know, conference champion as a freshman, all my teammates, super supportive. Uh, there, I'm chest bumping Wyatt, celebrating with Brayden. 
Um, there you go. And then I say, I say like, let's go. And then this guy daps me up, which I feel a little, <laughs> I accidentally say it to his face, which I didn't mean to, um, but he gives me respect. And yeah, they're all just celebrating with me. And if you just heard that, I just said champion, champion, <laughs> which is so funny that they picked it up on the microphone. Um, and then we're, we're going to see our, me and the goons walking back to our spot. Yeah, so we're walking back. A couple of our teammates of mine coming over to celebrate. Here's Alex. Shout out to him. And right there's me. I see Coach Renner. He gives me like a fist bump or something. Super happy. Thanks for uh, coaching me, Coach Renner. I appreciate it. I'm just walking back to my area. Here's all my here's all my teammates. We got the whole team here celebrating with me. Uh, it was such a fun time. And yeah. So yeah, just a super sick uh, time all together. And the official results came in at 157.95, which I'm super happy with that. My previous be best was a 159. I'm expecting to really cut down some time this outdoor season. I'm really putting the work, so we'll see how this pans out. Uh, but you know, being a conference champion, Centennial Conference is a very serious conference. Um, one of the best D3 conferences there is probably. And that time also put me at second best in McDaniel indoor track and field history, which is super sick. And uh, yeah, McDaniel also did really well as a team. We came third overall out of nine teams when we were seated to come ninth out of all the teams. So that was huge for us. And also a little backstory for the four by four, you know, this medal, just to remind you. Um, it, we came in second for the four by four. Uh, we were seated around second or third and we had an excellent performance for that race. And we actually only came in third by one point. So if we had come in third for that four by four, we would have came in fourth overall as a team. So that was super sick being the last race of the meet that we managed to, you know, hold on to that third position. Uh, you know, just overall my favorite track meet I've ever had. I just wanted to record this to remember the momentous occasion. So hope you enjoyed.